Chris Rashad, Santiago, and Tyler Green. Welcome, both guys. Thank Tyler, you. I'm going to get to you in sure. one second, okay? But Rashad, I want to start with you because this is the genius behind this demonic face. You did such a great job. Thank you. Thank you. Can you explain what went into this transformation? Sure. Well, we started with a foam latex piece that we applied to her brow and to her cheeks. Um, and then we went over it with some latex and some paint to kind of blend everything together. But you make it sound so simple. It is not so simple. No. You took four hours to create the... Yeah, this didn't happen in five minutes, but a lot of people are going to look at this and go, I want to be a demon. How can people at home do this in an easy way? Well, of course, something like this is a little bit more, you know, advanced, but if you want to do some simple things, I've got some simple tips here for you to try. Okay. And we've, we've got somebody right here that you can try them on? Yes, we All right. do. Yes, we do. What's your name, sweetheart? Hi, my name's Nina. Hi, Nina. Okay, I love the gumballs. Yeah, oh, all thank right. you. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do for Nina? Well, we've got some... The things we're using, you can find either at home or at your local grocery store. We've got some Elmer's glue, toilet tissue, and some food coloring. Now, with the Elmer's glue and tissue, we're going to make a broken skin look, you know, some demonic looks like you see in, like, The Exorcist. They have cuts and bruises and things like that. So we're going to use the Elmer's glue and the tissue okay, for that. Okay, go for it. Take the brush... A little bit of this Elmer's glue, and you're gonna apply it. Can I just have you turn mm -hmm. this way? Awesome. Straight to the face. You were so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Take a small piece of tissue, put that right on the glue. And of course, the Elmer's glue is water solvent, so you could just. It comes right off. Comes yep. right off after you're done. Perfect. And then once that starts to dry a little better, you can rip it and tear it, blend it in with some blood and some makeup. Fantastic. Rashad, thank you so much. All right, thank you, Nita. I'm going to move on to you, Tyler. All right. You transformed one of our viewers before you got her hands on... You got her hands... You got your hands... I'm sorry, before you got <laughs> your hands on her. Yeah. She was this sweet homemaker from Staten Island. We have a picture of Connie. Have her there. See, lovely there woman. Is. Are you ready to see her now, audience? All right. Yeah. Connie, come on out. Dress in sexy for Halloween, like a sexy cop, J Lo, a bunny, all those things. So, how does it feel to be a zombie? I love this. You do? Absolutely. Yeah, I can tell. By the way, you walked out, you're owning it. Yeah. <laughs> Tyler, Rashad, explain what he did to get this look for me. What did you do to transform Connie? Very similar. Again, this was a foam latex brow and chin piece that was not meant to fit her at all whatsoever, but I did my best to try to force fit it on there, blend the edges, you know, go in with some awesome aqua color from Krylon, and really kind to break up the makeup so it looks, give you this zombie look. And how long so, did this take? About the this, same amount of About time? the same time, a little less, I think. Probably about just under three hours. Okay. So. I, and I love even the hands, the detail yeah. on the hand is great. Look at that. Look at that. Like Creepy. Dug. All right, because of shows like The Walking mm -hmm. Dead, everybody wants to be a zombie. So if you're at home, how can you do it? Blood. Blood is the Blood. easiest thing and the most novelty thing that any zombie or creepy character could need. Okay, so, so. let's see what you're going to do. So basically right here, again, you can get these at your local supermarket. Uh -huh. It's carol syrup, food coloring, and chocolate syrup. So all you need to do, mix it together till you have a good consistency, and apply it right on there. Look at that. <laughs> 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 Look at that. That looks cool. <laughs> and easy to do. Simone, does it wash out of clothes? To do? Again, some food, uh, food coloring does stain, but this is edible. Actually, edible blood. So okay. So what if you want the zombie teeth? Those That's really rotting thing. teeth. So again, you can do something very similar using black food coloring instead of the red okay. and actually put it right in your mouth and she can, you know, check that out. Look at that. Let's see. <laughs> Ugh, that is disgusting. <laughs> what is your name? It's Eris. Eris. Oh, well, you, you, bo you both look disturbing, but great. Connie, you look fantastic, Rashad. Tyler, thank you so much. A great look. Great. Make sure to keep a lookout for season 10 of Sci-Fi's Face Off, premiering January 2016.